This is how my hair and my scalp used to look. I had a huge bald patch in the center of my head, and I was literally falling apart because I didn't know what to do. This is how my hair looks now. I'm 110% recovered, and I can attribute it all to this very, very powerful, potent recipe prepared in a very specific way. So if you want to know exactly how I was able to not only restore my scalp, but also grow and thicken my hair exponentially, then stay tuned for this video. Be sure to watch the entire video so you don't miss a single one of these crucial steps. So now it's officially time to begin making this oregano tisane. Please pay close attention because all of the quantities are going to be detailed on the screen. So the first thing you're going to do is put the water on the stove to boil. Here, I'm measuring out my dried oregano using my cooking scale. Add the herbs to the boiling hot water. Allow the herbs to steep whilst boiling for about 5 to 10 minutes. The time frame is dependent upon how concentrated you want the tea to be. After some time, I reduced the boil to a simmer. After this, turn off the stove and allow the rinse to further infuse for another 6 to 10 hours. Strain the mixture. And add it to your mason jar, applicator bottle, or spray bottle. Once it's ready, you can use it as desired. Store any extra in the refrigerator for later use. Now if you all want a more extensive look at this recipe, please be sure to purchase my recipe book which again is linked in the description box down below and is located in the top right corner. So be sure to check it out, I'm so excited to share it with you all. It's a really beautiful book and it's full of all the recipes that I've used to grow and thicken and strengthen my extremely beautiful natural hair. For those of you who also want to purchase my hair growth calendar, my holy grail, and my other digital products, I have a bundle available for 35% off. Now I absolutely cannot live without any of these products. They've completely, completely revolutionized my hair and I know 110% they'll do the same for you as well. Okay y'all, so we're finally going to demonstrate how to use this oregano. Now there are two types of containers I like to place it in. My personal favorite is your standard applicator bottle. And then beyond the applicator, I also like to use a spray bottle. Now, because the applicator is my favorite, I'm going to make use of that today. So for these kinds of treatments, I'm ultimately focusing on my scalp. You want to ensure that your scalp is completely covered with this oregano tea. So in order to do that most effectively without wasting, an applicator works really, really well. So now that my hair is down and you all are seeing it, let me show you quickly what it looks like. Thumbs up if you're enjoying this new format and want to see more videos like this. And of course, be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video.
Now this thickness and density is not just genetics because there was a period when my hair was quite thin. It actually has a lot to do with tisanes like oregano. So let's get right into using it so you all can see how I apply it to my scalp. So I'm going to take my applicator. Now this happens to be a leftover applicator bottle from my African Pride Micellar Water. I love using this for my like cleansing in between wash days. I'm gonna put it in the description box down below. But of course I like to recycle my containers and use them for these tisans. If you like things to be super organized, you don't need to take your hair down. You can actually put it back in your ponytail holder very loosely and apply it like this. Gently apply, rub, rub, rub a little bit, very gently, and then remove. Apply, rub very gently. Ooh, making sure not to get it everywhere. Remove, apply a few drops, rub gently, and then remove. Alternately, you can take everything down and just apply it liberally, which, I mean, I do both, but of course the first one is a lot more organized. So as I'm applying, I'm making sure that I'm rubbing it in very well, but very gently so that it gets all over my scalp. And I'll even apply the tisane to areas again to ensure that I've gotten them properly, especially those areas that I feel need a little bit more attention. While I'm applying this oregano tisane to my scalp, let's take a quick moment to learn about why it's so beneficial. Oregano, scientifically termed oregano vulgare, is a common garden herb with a strong aroma. Oregano herb is a native of Europe, but is now grown all over the world. There are more than 45 varieties of oregano. Not all of them are used in producing its essential oil. The benefits of oregano oil for the hair are as follows. It's minty and herbaceous. Applying oregano oil to the scalp provides a refreshing, cooling sensation. This is deeply soothing and can help to calm the body, mind, and spirit. It also encourages blood flow to the scalp. The antibacterial, antiparasitic, and anti-inflammatory properties of oregano make it able to ward off lice, fungus, infection, and inflammation. Oregano oil's antifungal, antibacterial, and anti-infective properties can also help remove dandruff as well as improve scalp health to keep flakes at bay. Rich in antioxidants, oregano oil is perfect for promoting healthier, shinier, and smoother hair. It also treats and soothes itchy and or dry scalp. It also combats hair loss and it boosts hair growth. Let's dive right back into this application process. It's really important to ensure that you get this on your edges, especially if your edges are a problem area. Are you all enjoying this video? If so, drop some red emojis down below if you want to see more recipe videos like this one. So now I've successfully gotten it pretty much all over my head. I'm going to give it a little bit of time make sure that my scalp is truly covered, and then I'm going to apply my hair growth oil. Now, personally, I would consider pairing this with one of my healing oils, which you all can access in my recipe Bible, which is linked in the top right corner, and it's 20% off. In that publication, I have a whole bunch of recipes, including a lot of recipes that have oregano. So you all be sure to check that out if you want access to more potent formulas for your natural hair. But that short digression aside, I'm going to apply my hair growth oil. I also have a video about this particular simple hair growth oil recipe. Again, that's going to be linked in the top right corner. As stated previously, for more potent hair growth formulas and or healing oil formulas, be sure to check out my recipe bible, which is still in the top right corner. Now to apply this hair growth oil, I'm going to shake it up a whole lot. 
shake, 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 shake. And then I'm going to dot it all over my scalp. I'm going to start with the front half of my head. I might even split it into quadrants. So I'll probably start with this side of my head and I'll move to this side. So I'm not like lining it. I'm literally putting little dots everywhere. I'm going to rub that in very well. Gently, of course. Now this is the first stage of a scalp massage. I'm still going to go in and further massage my scalp, but this gentle rubbing that I'm doing is already a massage. So you can do this for up to like 10 minutes. Just do it super gently. Again, make sure you're not causing friction, applying too much pressure, or causing any tension or pain. So I've applied a generous amount of oil to the two front quadrants. I'm going to apply it to the center of my head, which is my sensitive area. I'm not going to say problem area, it's my sensitive area. There we go. And then I think I could just apply this to the back of my head at one go. And we're finished. Now, if you have a very oily scalp, I would not recommend applying oil to your scalp. If your scalp is also prone to irritation when you put oil on it, please avoid doing this unless you're doing it as more of like a pre-poo treatment. The oregano tisane is fine to use on its own, but this is something I do as a part of my weekly really my nightly hair routine. So I'm very used to applying oil to my scalp and it's really helped to bolster my hair growth. As you can see, my hair is literally flourishing. It's so long and so thick. Now, if you all would like access to my hair care routine, please be sure to click in the cards in the top right corner where you can check out my three month hair growth and hair care calendar. Now I have five versions, one for low porosity, high porosity, medium to neutral porosity, dry, sensitive, and or troubled scalp, and no oils and butters. Now I actually follow this routine every day, and what I'm showing you is a part of that routine because I do this pretty much every single night. Now that short digression aside, let's move on to the final step of applying this oregano tisane to your scalp. Now the final step is to massage your scalp. This is extremely important and probably one of my favorite steps. Actually, no, it's my favorite step because it's extremely soothing. It's really great for someone like me. And this step is going to allow the blood in your scalp to circulate. Anyway, let me show you how I massage my scalp. Here's my scalp massager. I put it right here on top of my head. Actually a little, yeah, right about here. So a little bit away from the top of my head. I leave it here for about five to 10 minutes, but for five of those minutes, I invert my head. Now I'm not gonna show you guys how I invert myself. <laughs> Literally, you could just lean over your bed and invert your head bars. <laughs> it's going to increase the blood flow, but again, don't do it for more than four to five minutes, please. After that, you can come back up and continue doing this for another five minutes. Now, after I've done this in this particular spot for 10 minutes or so, I move to another spot on my head and do it for three to five minutes. Now, the reason why I keep it in one spot for so long is because when you activate blood vessels in one area, it radiates out. You don't really need to go all over your head, but I still do just for good measure. So I give this an opportunity to awake the blood vessels close to the crown of my head. My crown is here, but it's quite sensitive, so I put it a bit ahead of my crown. And then as those blood vessels are awakened, it awakens the rest of the blood vessels in my scalp. And if you take a moment after doing this for 10 minutes, you will observe that that is the case. So I'm going to do this for 10 minutes. Then we're going to come back. Okay, great. So I've done this for 10 minutes. I'm going to move on to this part of my scalp. I tend to do this part next. So I'm going to do about four parts of my scalp. I alternate. Sometimes I do it very close to my ear. Other times I do it a little closer to my temple. Sometimes I do it smack dab in the middle. And I'm going to do this, like I said, for three to five minutes. Then I'm going to switch to this part of my head. 
Now, I don't always turn it up this high, but if I'm feeling frisky, I do. Ah, and this is very, very relaxing. But because my scalp is sensitive, I tend to keep it on the low setting. Three to five minutes, then we're gonna move on to the back of my head. And now that we're finished with our full scalp massage, I'm just going to clean this off camera. I like to use cotton swabs and some rubbing alcohol to clean it, even baby wipes. Baby wipes first, then the cotton swabs with rubbing alcohol. That way when I use it tomorrow, I'm good to go. Now, if you all would like the type of scalp massager I use, I'm going to provide a link in the description box down below. That way you can access it and have a lot of fun with it too. Questions. Have you ever used oregano on your scalp? Did you like it? What other herbs do you use on your scalp and your hair? Will you be trying this recipe? You did it! Be sure to place your answers in the comment section below. Wow, thank you all so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It lets you two know that you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below, what other types of recipe videos would you like to see? Please be sure to share this with your friends and your loved ones. And last but never ever can be, least subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. Now, don't forget all of the resources you need to make this recipe and use it the right way are going to be in the description box down below. And some useful resources as well as extra videos are already linked in the cards. Don't forget to drop a blue emoji if you've made it this far and I'll actually see you in my next video. Ta-ta for now, I love you so much and God bless you.